Hello my beautiful Taurus and welcome to your general reading. So today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, love, a friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, so just take what resonates, switch your gender, switch your roles, do what you have to and leave the rest. If you'd like to book a personal reading or for anything else, everything is in the description box below. Okay, if you are a Capricorn watching this like, or you've got any Capricorn placements, I apologise because I was supposed to do pull a love card at the end of their reading but i didn't so my apologies if anybody if a copy is watching this maybe you've got tourist placements okay so i feel like capricorns are not focused on love that's why <laughs> that's why I'm, i keep forgetting to do their love readings okay so this is for my beautiful tourists nonetheless my taurians and tauruses tourist full moons coming up soon okay so let's just see, my beautiful Taurus, what is the overall energy coming towards you? Oh, that was real quick. Okay, so we have self-esteem that wanted to come up. Beautiful energy. Someone else got this, but I don't remember who it was. Okay, oh, and then we have body issues at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, if you've been suffering from any type of um, insecurities when it comes to your body, um, that is going to disappear. So you're really going to be feeling yourself, your sexy, sensual self. Maybe you haven't been feeling very Taurian-like okay this card talks about like diet okay so i feel like you know what you you are what you eat Taurus. so make sure that you are um accumulating like a healthy diet eating things that you know are good for you okay but i feel like you're looking really good with that self-esteem energy okay so i feel like you may get a lot of compliments on your body or on your shape or you just look really well you look really fit so if you have any issues, it's going to clear up or it's going to sort itself out or, you know, I also feel like with the body issues and the self-esteem, I feel like you make people around you feel very insecure about themselves. Okay. But oh well. <laughs> so let's move on. This is for my beautiful Taurus. But yeah, I'm getting like your ego is going to be fed a lot. So I'm getting a lot of compliments. Okay. Okay. Also, we have um, create, creative. It says, don't let your talents go to waste. Okay, beautiful energy. Oh, yeah, and then we have selfie at the bottom of the deck. It says, um, someone is stalking your social media. Yeah, so all eyes are on you, okay? You could be getting, you could be getting recognized, sorry, for something that you're doing, something creative that you're doing, okay? Or you're finding a creative way to kind of... Um, showcase yourself or your talents okay but if you are talented i feel like you need to kind of express this energy don't let it go to waste okay maybe you're worried that people are not going to see um what it is that you do i feel like they are your self-esteem is definitely going to rise up when you when you see how people react to something that you're doing okay so yeah, I also feel like for some of you, you may be very shy to show yourself because I feel like you make people feel insecure. So you may feel like you need to hide yourself a lot of the times um, and just kind of showcase your work because when you show yourself and something that you're doing, like when you're multifaceted, multi-talented, um, that can really affect those around you. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh my God, you look good and you can do this and you can do that and you can... So, do you know what I mean? People may be trying to make you feel insecure about the way that you look because you're creative. People just don't want people to look at you. But I'm getting show yourself. Sometimes you may have to reel it back a little bit because you understand, yeah, underneath that we have female power. You understand your power. You know that you make people feel a little bit insecure. But I'm getting... Just fuck them, man. <laughs> fuck them if you want to show yourself off show yourself off if you want to take pictures and selfies and you want it sexy as fuck that's other people's problem okay but i'm getting it's almost like you feel like you have to focus on one thing at a time do you know what i mean this is almost like if you're a singer you've got a really beautiful voice but no one knows what you look like because maybe you just you post audios then boom you show yourself in a music video now everybody's feeling some type of way all the people that were like um you know, appreciating your voice and your music, now you find that, like, you, people are not supporting you as much because you're gorgeous. But it's like, I got a gorgeous voice. You didn't think it was going to match the sound? Okay. But I'm already getting that. I'm getting positive vibes here. But with the body issues, that's it's making me feel like people are, like, threatened by your power in some type of way or you feel like you are an issue. 
okay? But you're not, okay? Or someone is stalking you and they're inspired by you in some type of way, okay? Or maybe you kind of just feel like, you know, you know, like when you see a lot of people, yeah, look, the fitness fanatic, just as I um split the deck, maybe when you see other people online as well, you know, when you see other attractive people and you just think, child, no one's going to want to look at me. You're a unique beauty, um, Taurus. No comparing, okay? Don't compare yourself to anyone. I feel like the more you show yourself off, the more people are going to like be looking at you, Okay. So let's just see. Yeah, we have the perfectionist. You're perfect, Taurus. Um, yeah, Taurus could be dealing with a Virgo. You could have significant Virgo placements. I'm getting something about fashion as well. You know, they're very stylish in these um cards. So I'm getting something about. For some of you, you could be creating some kind of clothing brand, or maybe it's your clothing, the way that you dress. It draws a lot of attention. But you are perfect, okay? In every single way, your imperfections are perfect. Or maybe you're maybe you, you're feeling nervous because you don't know how someone is going to view you. Or you're perfect, Taurus. Somebody thinks that you're absolutely perfect, okay? Or something that you're doing is really perfect. Like I said, if you're worried like people are watching you or someone is stalking what you do because they love what you do, they just think you're perfect, okay? Yeah, the Martian, Okay, so this could definitely be something to do with your career. Or there's like a real strong masculine energy that's around you. They're just looking at you like, yeah, girl, you know, you look good. Or yeah, like, oh my God, you just done that so well. You so creative. You so creative. How'd you come up with that concept? How'd you come up with that concept? <laughs> Someone's like, just, you know what I mean? All eyes are on you, Taurus. So don't worry about anything. This just looks, it's because it's like, I'm, all the cards are positive, but I'm feeling this like kind of negative energy or this anxious energy. Okay. I feel like you're working on something and you just want it to come out really great and you just don't, you know, like how they say like artists are very sensitive about their work. You just don't know how people are going to feel about it because maybe you've just had issues in the past. People just feel some type of way. I understand that, Taurus. I get you. It's kind of like when I show people my art, like they don't know that I design my own shit. So when they find out, it's almost like, oh my God, I really love that. And then you tell them that you done it. Then, then the energy shifts, it changes. It's like, well, you loved it until you found out I did it. Do you know what I mean? It's like that side eye type of energy. So just don't worry, okay? I'm, you're not going to get no side eye. Like I said, something you're doing is perfection. Or maybe you're worried about somebody else. You know, like when you ask someone to do something, but you just, you're like, oh, I don't know if that person's going to do it right. <laughs> Have you ever felt like that? It's kind of like, you know what? This is why I do things myself. It's almost like you're worried, like how something is going to turn out. It's going to turn out perfectly, okay? Don't worry. Just put your trust in someone, <laughs> Or someone's putting their trust in you, okay? Because you're very strong and powerful. Okay, so let's just see. Please come find self-esteem. Yeah, the nine of pentacles, the nine of wealth. Okay, so Virgo energy. So this is definitely something about your body, your self-image, the way that you look or a picture. Okay, you're just worried about how people view you. I'm getting this off. Some of you could be worried about how someone's going to view you in real life. Maybe somebody kind of always sees you on social media. So you're, but maybe you're really petite, you're really small. You're just like, oh, you know what? I just, I'm like nervous. Like, are they going to be attracted to me? This person's going to think that you look good. Okay. Like, I promise you. Yeah, you're confused. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to feel. You're going to put someone in a trance here with this energy. Okay. Or someone is just like amazed by you, amazed by something that you're doing. Some of you definitely have um, Virgo placements or you're dealing with a Virgo. Okay, I'm also getting something about modeling here. Maybe you want someone to model something for you. Okay. Or somebody wants you to model something for them. They may want you to be like an ambassador for their brand or something like that. Because, yeah, I'm getting something about clothing. Somebody here's like a, a designer or somebody wants to design you something. Or they may want to send you something. It's like, yeah, you know, can you wear this? You know, you may have like a... 
social media platform. You could be like on TV or YouTube or Instagram or something. Um, somebody wants you in something that they have or that they have created because they feel like you'll look good in it and you'll be good to promote something that they're doing. Okay. I'm also getting that you're doing something independently as well. You're an independent artist or an independent designer. Something you do all by yourself. Someone's like, you do that all by yourself? You're like, yes, I design everything. We design the box, everything. It's all me, boo. Or yes, I stitched this myself. It's all me, boo. Or yes, this is, this is, my body is real. This is all me, boo. You know, someone feels like your tits, your ass or something is fake. Your hair's fake. Like, not everything is all natural. Okay. So someone is confused by you, okay? Or this is how you are, you're confused by something. Please clarify creative. Or someone just can't believe how talented you are. It's like, did you make that? You're just like, yes, did you cook that? Yes, you don't know Taurus can cook. Okay, please clarify creative. Yeah, transformation, okay? I feel like you're changing the game with something that you're doing, Taurus. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, your opposite energy. I'm just hearing I want to end you. So yeah, somebody could be trying to put like an ending to your creativity, but it's just like, no, you keep reinventing yourself. Okay. You keep transforming, but I feel like there's something creative that you're doing that's really transformative. You're changing the way that people view things or the way that people see things because of your creativity. Yeah, someone wants to end you with the hermitess. Is it a Virgo? Because it's like, you know, will the real Virgo please stand up? It's like, you know what? No, I, maybe you've got heavy Virgo placements. You could be dealing with someone who's like a Virgo sun, but you're like, well, I'm a Virgo Jupiter though. Or I'm a Virgo North Node though. Or I'm a Virgo Venus though. You know what I mean? I feel like maybe you've got strong Virgo placements. So this one's like, okay, you know, I'm out the door. Because this is two energies of the same three, actually. Because, you know, that's my Virgo card. Virgo, Virgo. But I'm getting that someone doesn't want you to be seen. Because, yeah, with the, I mean, this would be the death card. And the, the higher test, that's the ghosts. So that's what I'm getting. I want to end you. Like someone wants you to be ghosted. Or maybe this is how you were feeling. You didn't want to show yourself. Yeah, come out of hiding, man. Cha. If you make people feel some type of way, oh well. Or, or I'm hearing a little bit at a time. Um, Because I feel like some of you Taurus, you got too much sauce. <laughs> you got too much, too much sauce. You got to drop a little bit at a time. Like don't give it to them all at once. Because this is what I'm getting. It's almost like someone likes something that you do. And then when they see who's doing it, then all of a sudden people want to ghost you. Cha. All right, let's just move on. Please clarify the perfectionists. The, the Empress of Emotions, the Queen of Cups. Okay, definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio here. It could be a uh, Pisces or a um, Cancer. You are loved, Virgo. I mean, Taurus. I don't know why I want to keep saying Virgo. You have you have significant Virgo placements, or there is a Virgo around you that like is obsessed with you. You're loved. You're adorned. Like something's transforming in your life, or you're changing the game with something that you are doing, or the way that you make something look, or just your essence. Okay. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. This is what I was getting. I'm getting that weird energy. Like some kind of like trickery or some kind of deceptive energy. Just some, something's making me real uneasy. Something's hiding. That's what I'm getting. Someone's hiding or someone's trying to hide you or someone's trying to escape. It's like, nah, bitch, I, I feel your energy, okay? Could be a, uh, an Aquarius. Yeah, someone's trying to hide with the moon and the Ten of Swords. Somebody wants to end you or somebody's trying to, to, to um, conceal how they feel about you. I feel like someone's trying to copy you, but they just can't. You, you just, you got that secret source, darling. You got that secret source. Someone's trying to strategize and just, it's like, nah, I'm hearing it. It now nah, got work. Okay. That's seven of swords about. Because that's what I was getting. I was feeling like a weird energy. But I'm getting that this is someone like watching you secretly. With them seven of swords, the moon and the selfie. 
someone that watches your looks at your pictures or they i don't even want to say that because i'm not let me not say that but yeah someone trying to act like you know they don't know that you're the shit you're the shit Tor um yeah taurus See, it's almost like someone doesn't really want you to recognize who you are because I almost felt like I wasn't even reading for Taurus just then. Okay, I really, let me, I want to know what the Seven of Swords is. So, this could be somebody hiding their emotions for you as well. Please clarify the Seven of Swords. Went right on top of it. The Ten of Wealth. Okay, this could be something to do with your family. And then with the Tower, there's that Scorpio again. and there's only one person in this card though so i feel like you have and again virgo energy i feel like you have so much talent so much gifts you have the energy of like 10 men like 10 people or somebody is trying to hide your wealth from you because I feel like, you know, like I said, it's almost like you're doing something single-handedly all on your own and you're accumulating all of this all by yourself. Someone doesn't want you to know that this is like your future. But she's, she's, those pentacles are just surrounding her. She has no family, nothing. So I feel like for some of you, you are strained from your family. You don't have family. You don't have friends. You don't have a lover. You don't have nobody supporting you. I feel like whoever hasn't been supporting you, they're watching you, but they're hiding. They're hiding. Or somebody tried to lie on you. The tower, yeah. I feel like you're shocking people's foundations or... You know what I mean? Someone's trying to steal from you or something. It's just not going to work out. Because, you know, I, like I said, I feel like you make someone feel insecure. Because to me, like, the Seven of Swords energy, like, people who lie, plot, scheme, and strategize, those are people who are insecure. That's why they spend their time strategizing. You know what I mean? Because they don't feel... Um, they don't feel safe or I, I mean of course if you're always stealing or you're plotting you always have to look over your shoulder you know what i mean untrustworthy people don't trust anyone because they can't they know themselves therefore therefore they see themselves in other people i always say that people um, always think from their own level of perspective so if you think from a low vibrational level that's how you're going to see the world have you ever dealt with someone and they don't trust you for no reason? You've done nothing to demonstrate distrust. However, that person has done several things for you to not trust them. But you're still trusting, you're still loving, you're still devoting because you are a Taurus. I feel like as well, there's someone in your family or someone not to be trusted. There's someone around you or somebody's trying to make you seem like you're not trusted worthy or you can't get the job done or something and it's like well actually i can and i can do it all by myself thank you very much because i'm perfect and i'm loved don't know about you though okay i don't know what this is because i'm hearing several different stories here maybe for some of you as well you kind of feel like i feel like some of you could be trying to plot your escape okay i feel like that's the best thing that you can do because you're going to be so much better without whatever it is that you are attached to whatever is calling you causing you some kind of issues or you know um affecting your self-esteem here because i feel like for some of you you need to get your power back underneath that we have abundance does so someone's trying to lie to you trying to make you feel like you're not gifted you're not skilled you're not worthy maybe you don't have enough a, a lot of wealth like somebody else does somebody's trying to make you feel like you're beneath them but really you're not That's why this person watches you in secret, okay? Or a, a bunch of people do, I don't know, okay? But we're just going to leave it at that. Okay, so let's just um, pull some additional energy, my beautiful Taurus.
Um, every action causes a reaction. Be mindful. Yeah, I feel like there's people around you need to be mindful. Okay? Because somebody's like about to create a tower moment for themselves. Because of the lies and the deceit and the betrayal or whatever the fuck they did. Okay? Because really, people will love you. You know what I mean? Um, it says, just do it. You know you want to. And then you deserve this abundance stunt on these hoes. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. I feel like for some of you, abundance and success surrounds you. So you can stun and, and know, especially knowing that you did something all on your own. Like I didn't get no handouts, no shares, no support, no nothing. <laughs> I did this shit all on my own. This was all me, boo-boo. You stunt. That's what I'm saying. Stunt out on these streets. Okay? Shock these people. Shake their foundation. Show people that they didn't break you, okay? Right. Thank you very much, my beautiful Taurians and Tauresses. If you like the reading, if it resonated or if you wanted to, please don't hesitate to like the video, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.